Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Halton Hills housing update. Brooke is off this week, so no edits, so please bear with me. Um, the numbers are definitely still in favor of the buyers here. It is not improving in terms of anything going backwards for the sellers. So let's take a look at the numbers. In Georgetown this week, we had 10 properties sell, only one of them got over asking. So last week I made a comment that I felt like over asking is gonna be something that's sort of obsolete soon. And I think that's definitely the case. The one that did get over asking was like a $599 land value sort of situation and it only got 50,000 over asking. So it was sort of a unique one. So when we really look at it, the regular resale properties last week, none of them got over asking. Interestingly, there was 24 new listings in Georgetown last week. So a huge amount of new listings coming on the market, but the sales just are not picking up. In Acton last week, we had five sales, which is actually a very good number for Acton. I mean, there was quite a bit of stuff available and we only had one new listing. So Acton is really the only market last week that had sort of a good week, um, but it was um, still not the craziness that we should be seeing with this much inventory available. Glenn Williams had no sales and two new listings. Limehouse had no sales and one new listing. The rural market saw one sale and three new listings. So overall last week in all of Halton Hills, we only had 16 sales. In the peak of the market, we were seeing 35 to 40. So given the fact that we have tons of stuff to buy and we're only sitting around 16 sales is not great. So now looking at active inventory, I decided to do something interesting this week. I was like, I wonder where it was the first week of January, because obviously if you watch these, you know how far we have come in the last six months, but I was just like, let's have a look. So I'm gonna do a little, this is where it's at now, and this is where it was on my January 4th update. So this week, all of Halton Hills is up to 188 active listings. We are pushing very close to that 200 mark. On January 4th, there was 29 active listings. So it just shows the change we've seen. Almost 200 and we were at 29, so that's pretty crazy. Georgetown this week is up to 126 active listings. Really interesting when I did my market update this week, there was so many properties that completely terminated and came off the market. Like they just suspended or terminated and did not come back on at a lower price or anything like that. So they have tested the market for whatever reason they are deciding like, no, we are not going to sell right now. And so our inventory didn't climb by those 14 units between our sales and our new listings. Um, it only climbed by five, but we had like 10 properties just go off the market in Georgetown. So interesting week. So now looking at our price point. Oh, I should mention, there was only 11 active listings in Georgetown on January 4th. So 126 now, 11 on January 4th. Supply and demand, there is just not a ton of demand and look at that supply. Like this, it is just totally shifted. Looking at our price points, under 800,000 is up this week to 11 active listings. The interesting thing in that, there are three detached homes, freehold detached homes in Georgetown under 800,000 right now. I literally would have thought in February there was a time where we would have seen that never happen again and here we are. So we are starting to see those price points really come back down. 800 to a million is the one that jumped the highest this week. So it went from 28 to 34 active listings, really high number in that price point. Um, lots of stuff that again was over that million mark is coming down to that 950 to 999, tons of stuff at 999 right now. Um, so that price point is definitely feeling some saturation. 1 million to 1.5 million is down slightly from 51 to 49 active listings. So it's going down, but again, a lot of that is just movement of stuff in that pocket going down under that million. So we're seeing a bit of a shift there. 
and then a million, sorry, 1.5 plus is up from, no, it's down. It's down from 33 to 32 active listings this week. So not a major jump, but still a lot of stuff available in that price point. So really interesting to see what's happening here with our price points. But the theme overall is just like, there's tons of stuff available. So now looking at active. Acton is down this week pretty significantly. They had three properties that terminated plus a really high sales week. So they are down from 23 to 16 active listings in Acton, which is still very high. There's quite a bit available, but sort of good news there that we saw things really drop um, for sellers because sellers are just scrambling right now. In January, on January 4th, there was six properties available in Acton. So again, we're like, almost triple the amount of inventory there. Um, lots, lots have changed since January. Let's just put it that way. Glenn Williams, this is the highest number I've ever seen in the Glen. It is up from 10 to 12 active listings in Glenn Williams. There's some really nice properties available here. And usually the Glen is like a hot commodity. Um, and so really interesting to see inventory sitting so high there. Um, if you've been wanting to move to the Glen, take a look at what's available now. Um, in January, we only have one property available in the Glen. And typically with these market updates the last few years, for us to get to four or five was sort of sitting on the high end there. So just sort of showing the market, right? Limehouse is up to three active listings. In January, they had no active listings. I mean, Limehouse definitely doesn't have the same amount of volume transact, um, but it's still up. It's three times what it was January 4th. And now the rural market. So last week I was saying, oh, we might get over 30, which I don't think I've seen in the rural market. And we are up to 31 active listings in the rural market. In January, we were at 11. So this is just showing how far we have come like to go from 29 listings in all of Halton Hills. And now you have more than that in just our rural market is pretty crazy. I don't think any of us thought it was going to happen this quickly and this dramatically, but six months and it all changed. I thought maybe by the end of the year, but like it's a completely different market right now. So next week, I'm gonna have the June numbers. They are going to be really interesting. I mean, our units, based on what we've seen this month, are gonna be significantly down. But I am ex not excited. I'm just really interested to see what the price points are gonna be like. Again, in comparison to May, I still know that we are up significantly from last year, but it's still just really interesting to see when you analyze these numbers, how this is all playing out. So I will be back next Tuesday. Have a great week, everyone.